Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Tio Fimo does it again, knocks out Diego Magdaleno. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. Now, I'm watching the Kovalev Elite Alvarez card in Texas. Shout out to Top Rank. You know, good card. Richard Comey looked good. They say he's in line for Lomachenko. I heard he might have hurt his knuckle, so I don't know exactly when it'll happen, but Loma wants to unify. That would be a good fight. You know, Comey has good size, definitely punching power. He got a first-round knockout, and the co-feature was good. That's what I want to talk about in this video. Teofimo Lopez knocks out his biggest test to date. You know, a veteran, a guy, 30-plus wins, more fights than him. You know, comes from a fight family, the Magdalenos, and is Magda Diego Magdaleno's brother was a world champion, stuff like that. So, you know, always in the gym and stuff. And Tio Fimo looked good here. And I can't make this video too long because I want to watch the main event with Kovalev and the leader Alvarez, but he did the damn thing. Tio Fimo was very composed. He looked sharp. He had a great selection of punches. Very important. And it's funny watching a, a young 21 youthful guy and you could just see the attributes of certain fighters he, he he has to me what it takes to be a star he after the knockout he went over like i thought he was going to help diego magdaleno up because he was on the ground for a minute after he got knocked out which we'll talk about in a second and he, he didn't instead he did some Fortnite shit and like just x'd him off um but he got the charisma his father got a mouthpiece too kind of like an angel garcia of the sport and the kid can scrap that's obviously most important than uh, any kind of gimmick or, you know, personality traits. But Teofimo, he can scrap. Really like what I'm seeing. Again, the punch selection. I, it just reminds me of several different fighters. Like, I'm not saying he fights exactly like Canelo. But one thing I noticed about Teofimo is he's not afraid to take chances in his selection of punches. Like, he'll even attempt whether he lands or if it doesn't land, you know, he gets back in the, in the position. But he's going to at least attempt to try some creative punches that others wouldn't even try for. So it takes a level of athleticism, timing, and confidence to even attempt some of these punches. Now, obviously this could change the better, the opposition that you're in there with, because, you know, depending on if you're fighting someone really good, really elite that can counter has a lot of power, then maybe you're, you're not as, um, willing to try some of the creative punches you may have tried in camp or something like that but at least here teofimo he did his thing he made it look easy he won every round he had i don't even remember maybe two knockdowns before the eventual knockout and you know he was hurting him bad in there round two was i think a bad round for magdaleno and it all ended i believe in round seven this is i just watched it and i'm getting ready to watch the main event with kovalev so I think it was round seven where it all ended and he, he did his thing patient the power was there the showmanship was there with the Fortnite and the dancing it was really everything needed and this was a, a step up in terms of class he had the the obviously with top rank he has the platform um this is probably the biggest fight on espn on boxing today so you know i think this kid could go far the knockout brutal stuff you know, in my opinion, Diego Magdaleno, he fought like an idiot, really. Not the whole fight necessarily. He was just like outgunned, outmatched. But I'm talking about when he was hurt. He was badly hurt. He was getting touched up. He was getting hit with big shots. He, he's a veteran. And for whatever reason, hurt, he's trying to egg on Teofimo like like this is a Rocky movie. This ain't a movie, dog. Like, you know, you can't. That, that Rocky shit only works in the movies. You know, huh, huh, hit me, hit me. Come on. Drago, you know, you, that doesn't work. This dude is like sniping you and, and you're like trying to egg him on and telling them, come on, let's fight. Like, I hate when fighters do stuff like that, like showboat. I love showboating, you know, Sugar Ray Leonard, Roy Jones Jr., Floyd Mayweather in the past has done it. 
um i don't mind showboating but at least be in control of the fight and hold on to that control it's you know it's a slippery slope if you don't and you know for magdaleno who was losing lit virtually every round and then he's badly getting hurt he's been dropped to just fight on some like machismo like oh yeah come on and he's not even a power puncher you know he's not like if you look at his record he's not known for like the most threatening power per that division so it, it really becomes an uphill battle that you you can't win teofimo has a good size to him and he was winning every round he has you hurt his punches were looking surgical you know i'm surgical with this bitch jake jake you know it, it just it did i like i said it was like some movie like, come on anyway teofimo sees the opportunity start pegging him with shots landed a left hook that clearly had an effect and then he just doubled up on the hook and then the second hook put him out and he was on the canvas rolling around way past the seven count and for a minute like he was he was badly hurt he, his bell was already rung before that and then he like i said he, he tried this rocky balboa tactic like come on fight me he was even talking to him throughout the fight even when he was hurt like that's not the way to get it done especially with you when you're a boxer so to me i'm not trying to be harsh but I, I feel like fighters have to know their role they have to know their strengths and attributes if you're a boxer be that don't try to have a slugfest with somebody who's has youth on his side you know looks a bit bigger who's already badly hurt you you lost every round it's just it's not sensible try to regain your senses and maybe drag them into deep waters and outbox them or something but anyway teofimo 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 this is why I got off the live stream earlier. I didn't know when this fight was started. I told you I wanted to watch him. He's he's still in the show with a lot of these performances. Again, if he stays focused, stays disciplined, he can go far. His punch variety, punch selection, his confidence, you know, the whole package, he's, um, he's doing his thing. And top rank clearly taking notice. Bob Arum got in the ring and started smiling and stuff after the victory. They're talking about maybe getting him a title shot sometime soon. People are already linking his name to, you know, the Devin Haney's and, you know, a champion like Vasil Lomachenko. And I don't think he's far out from a big fight like that. You know, I think he, he looks like the goods. Obviously, there's still stuff we don't know, but he's he's going through the motions and he's not. He doesn't look like he's getting ahead of himself. And the reason I say that is because he looked pretty composed in this fight. He didn't just jump on Magdaleno disrespectfully and you know fight a foolish fight he was picking his shots even in the spots earlier where he had magdaleno hurt he was he was waiting for the moment it doesn't look like he was chasing the knockout right and that's always a good thing because deontay wilder doesn't always do this but if you watch the wilder fury fight it looked like he was searching for the knockout you know and, and that's in my knowledge of boxing of the sport that's never a good thing when you're looking for it you have to just set it up beautiful body work the left hook was crispy a very sneaky counter uppercut that he was throwing at will in in certain spots you know just a, a good creative like you know smorgasbord of punches from teofimo i like what i've seen a lot drop your thoughts in the comment section let me know what you guys think is teofimo the next big thing Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.